Hey guys, it's Sadie and I know that a lot of us have just been scrolling on Pinterest looking at all of the super cute summer outfits that we all just want to have and like where. So I'm making this video to show you guys how I am going to build a really nice summer wardrobe that I can find a lot of outfits in. So I am going to show you some things that you guys should have in your summer wardrobe or would be good to have. I'm going to give some examples of some things that I have in my closet that I wear so much in the summer and that are so useful. And I'm also going to go on a little shopping spree to load up my summer wardrobe with pieces that I love. This is kind of like the second video in my wardrobe series. First, I did a how to build your dream wardrobe with basics. So without further ado, let's get into the video. The first step in your summer wardrobe thing is to go through all of your clothes, try everything on. I hate trying on clothes, I know, but you literally just have to try it on to see if it fits and to see if you feel good and confident in it. If it doesn't fit or it's worn or you don't think that you can style outfits with it, then you should give it away. And yes, you could sell it online to people, but really I'm so fortunate to have this job that I love and that I make some money from. So I really don't need to be making more money off of my clothes. I would really love someone that isn't as fortunate as me to have good quality clothes even my really expensive ones I'm just gonna give them away. So I really encourage you guys to give your clothes away, too That is the first thing that you should do. I'm gonna go get my bucket <laughs> I am giving away all of these clothes. <laughs> I am so happy about this. This is all stuff that I just didn't vibe with, didn't fit me. Oh my gosh, this is hurting my hip bone. There's a lot of stuff in here that I feel like a lot of other people would love to have <laughs> That is the first step completed. The next step is to find inspiration. I have a board on Pinterest that is summer outfits. You guys can go to the link in the description or just search Sadie Aldis 11 on Pinterest. And I have so many outfit ideas pinned on there. So make sure that you find your style and find some trendy outfits that you would really like to wear this summer and just find what you think you would feel good in. But the next thing you need to do is make a list of significant pieces that are needed for you. So I have a pretty long list here. This is just an ideal summer wardrobe. You don't have to go out and get all of these things. I'm going to start with tops. You're going to need some cute graphic tees. I have an addiction to graphic t-shirts and there was this one summer where I bought way too many of them but they're so good to have and they're really easy to style. You're also going to need some tube tops and tank tops just for variety. You don't always want to have t-shirts just to switch up your outfits and sometimes it's really hot outside you don't want pit stains and you just want to wear a tube top or a tank top. A denim jacket is so crucial for me. I love denim jackets especially ones that are cropped because I have a short torso so a cropped white or light denim jacket is perfect for the summer and it's super trendy right now for bottoms I would really suggest getting some nice denim shorts that are like kind of stretchy or comfortable that you would be willing to wear a lot in the summer I would love to get a really nice pair of white shorts so that's gonna definitely be on my list you're also going to want some soft shorts and what I mean by this is like maybe some paper bag shorts some biker shorts some athletic ones just ones that aren't denim so you can have some variety. You're gonna want some white jeans. Those are so cute I think for outfits and you can always style a really cute pop of color shirt with them. I have these ones from Dynamite that fit super well and I love styling outfits with them. I'm obsessed with skirts. I really want to get more. They're so comfortable and they are so cute. Probably should get a nice denim one, just a basic to have. Vertical stripes will make you look taller. That's a little tip. Now for like one pieces or like full body pieces, I would suggest getting some casual dresses and rompers or just a cute Instagram dress just like a floral one or something that's a little more casual that you can wear with tennis shoes. I want to get so many two-piece sets. They're so trendy and in but they're so cute and especially if you're taking pictures if you're like an online influencer or something and you have an Instagram. <sighs> Those look so good in pictures. You automatically just look so put together and fashionable. You're gonna want swimsuits, but I'm probably going to do a swimsuit haul, so stay tuned for that video. Now for shoes. Shoes, I think, make the whole outfit, and you can really change up your outfit with your shoes. So first, I would get some platform sneakers. I have an obsession with them. I have like three right now, and I'm kind of looking at getting more. But first of all, it makes you taller, so me, that's good. 
and I wear them almost every single day so I do get use out of them. You're also going to want a basic pair of white sneakers that are easy to wash. I would recommend getting like leather ones because then you can just wipe them with a wet cloth right before you go and they look as good as new. You're gonna need some flip-flops for those beach days and I would suggest getting a casual heel, more like a wedge heel, but it's always good to have a casual heel, not just like pumps. And you're going to want some sandals. For accessories, you're going to want a bunch of layering necklaces. I'm wearing this one from Forever 21. I think it adds so much to your outfit when you just have like a bunch of cute layered necklaces. Accessories just elevate your outfit. A cute summery purse, preferably in like a neutral or a pop of color. I have this one from Princess Polly and I use it all the time. It fits everything that I need, but it's also crossbody, so it's really convenient and comfortable to wear. But I also have this mini backpack from Princess Polly. I love it as well and it's just nice to have variety and cute summer colors. Sunglasses is another thing. I would suggest looking up what your face shape is. There's an app and I'll link it down below that you guys can like find out what your face shape is and then you can choose sunglasses that are best for your face shape and that'll make them look so much better and that my friends is it for the list that is the most ideal situation now you're going to put everything that you would like to have on your phone so next time you go shopping you will actually have a list of stuff that you need so you won't keep buying the same things that are already in your closet and you can build your dream summer wardrobe so I'm going to put some stuff on my list that I would like to have and I will see you guys when I am back from the mall one eternity later so I am back from shopping and I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys and these are all very cheap I got them from Forever 21 so they're not that expensive So the first thing that I got is the super cute denim crop top I imagine this with white denim jeans or like white shorts It's kind of cinched in at the back, but it's also super comfortable like it's not too tight on you I thought it was really unique and it can go with a lot of bottoms like even with the next skirt I'm gonna show you it would like go I got a bunch of skirts and you're also gonna see a theme of pink here I don't know why I was just looking for more feminine clothing because last year I was really into the Tommy Hilfiger colors like blue, red, and white. And that's apparently all of the clothes in my closet now. So I wanted to get some pink and more feminine colors. So I got this blush pink skirt and this fits so well. Forever 21 skirts just fit so well for me and I don't know why, but not complaining. This has buttons going all the way down. It's high-waisted and it's such a pretty color. So I can wear this so much in the summer. I also got this skirt and and I'm really into floral patterns. I've always been into floral patterns. This kind of reminds me of my grade eight grad dress where my mom literally made a skirt out of fabric but it zippers all the way down so it literally like could come open so I'll have to prepare myself for those types of situations. I can imagine like a cute white lacy crop top with this. So pretty. The next skirt that I got is a really nice basic that I think everyone should have in their closet and I don't know how I got on this far without having a just plain denim skirt. I can see myself wearing this all the time. It is high waisted and it's just super comfortable so I've already made so many outfits with this skirt in my head. So again from Forever 21 I also got a set. I was so excited because I've been wanting a two-piece set for a long time. I got this beautiful set. Um, it's really feminine, but that is what I'm looking for. It's a floral pattern. It's textured, but the shorts have a cute little flare out at the bottom and it matches perfectly with the top. And you can actually tie this as tight as you want so it fits you. It wasn't even that expensive. And I also did manage to find a casual heel at Call It Spring. I fell in love with these. Oh like they're so pretty. It's a nice casual heel that you can literally wear with shorts and skirts and dresses. And I got the tan version because if you're short and you get like a black or like a really prominent color, then it's gonna make your legs look shorter, but this just kind of continues the line. So some store recommendations that I have found that are really good for specifically basics for summer are Aritzia, H&M, Macy's, Urban Outfitters, Madewell, Brandy Melville, Zara, and Garage slash Dynamite. Those are a lot of stores that contain a lot of basics, like white t-shirts and cute denim skirts. These are some stores I would recommend for trendy pieces. Forever 21 is my absolute favorite, and that's the first place that I go when I'm looking for trendy pieces. Zara is also good. Aritzia and Garage and Dynamite again. Urban Planet is also really nice, but it's like you have to look through a lot of things to find ones that actually look good quality. But online, there are a couple. So there's Princess Polly, Misguided, Boohoo, and Pretty Little Thing. So there's a ton of stores there that you guys can find basics and trendy items from. So let me know what you guys buy down below. And I really hope this was 
an interesting video or it helped you in any way, let me know what other video in the series you would want to see. I love you guys so much and I will see you